This piece is called Floating Clouds by Daniel McFarlane of Piano Supersonics. And you'll want to get your hands ready on the group of three below middle C and the group of three above middle C. Um, if you like, you can hold down your right foot pedal as well. And usually you try to have your heel on the floor. For some of you that are maybe shorter, it might mean sitting towards the edge of your piano bench. Um, and then you can use whatever fingers are comfortable, but often with piano players to get started, it helps to use these three fingers in the middle of your hand. So on your right hand, it'll be finger two, three, four. And on your left hand, it'll be finger four starting us off, four, three, two. So here we go. That is such a beautiful, gentle piece. And one thing you may have noticed is that it has lots of repeats. So the first part is just using these three notes and these three, and then doing it again. The next time you're moving your fourth finger to the middle of the three black keys there, and we're going. And so this note feels a little closer there when we go. And then from there, we move both hands down to an E. You can't see it with my mic as well, so I'll just move. So it's an E here. Here we go. An E with that hand and an E with this hand. So we're going to use... back to where we started on the F sharp which you might not know the names of the notes yet and that's okay too so the and you can tell at the very end there's a two count note one two rest the rest of it is all one, 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 one. So this is a really fun way to explore the stepping up pattern as well as moving your hand back and forth in those ranges. And if you like, putting the pedal down to make it sound like the title of the song, which is called Floating Clouds. So I hope you have lots of fun with that piece and we'll see you next time. <laughs>